Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> I don't even know what's really here, but... I mean, these look like... I don't know. It sounds cool. I think I hear live music. There's and... a good view of the skyline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Double go ahead and detox. Yeah, yeah. Came from the trenches, they ain't showing us no love. Dagging in the city, all we wanted was a hug, yeah. We on the block like every night to catch a buzz. Get the cash and tell my family out the hood, that's a must. What's up? Hood, baby, with no soldiers. Bad past never left my mind, it's taking over. So Jazz is about to take Honey Bee on a run. Nails. <laughs> He's also going to give me some time alone in the van, which is important even as an extrovert. Yes. Discovery Park. Um, it was a beautiful little park. So many trails. Um, I actually ran on them because there were so many people out, but not too many people out, so that I felt safe. Um, usually I just stay off of trails because, you know, when you're in a new city, you don't really know. You always want to be careful, basically. So yeah, it was like a, it was a pleasant little run, and running with Honey was even better. It was my first run with her. So yeah, I'm feeling good and ready to explore Seattle. <laughs> We're about to one wheel through Discovery. Discovery Park. Yep. Yeah. I think we're gonna go see a lighthouse. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, the breeze feels nice and ratted. <laughs> Loop trail? Didn't it say left? Yeah. It's not very often that I'm right about directions, but today is one of those days. Oh shoot, I only have 55% left. Yeah, me too. So I've on... already burned 10% more batteries. Ruh-roh. But we all know my device's batteries don't last. <laughs> In the thick of it. Who? Hi, Buck. Hi, Buck. Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? Were you a sleepy girl? Look at her eyes. She's like, I wasn't gonna sleep. <laughs> Sweet girl. We missed you. We need to get you a one wheel. <laughs> <laughs> we had to come back early because our one wheels were not fully charged when we left. So, lesson Rookie learned. Mistake. Gif has already rode once and tested the limits and then had to walk back. So yes. we weren't gonna we're gonna do that. <laughs> Definitely not. These things are heavy. Yeah, but maybe we'll get a ride later. Alright, so where are we? We're in Belltown currently, but we're not we're not staying here, but yeah. I guess it's Driving a street, street that has like a hundred plus restaurants. Okay. But we're heading to Pike's Market. Pike's place? Yeah. Public market is the big popular Instagram photo, but um we're gonna go check out the gum wall and some other touristy stuff down there. We're gonna go to the Ballard neighborhood, which is a bar district in the beer capital of Seattle. 
All right, let's do this. And the, oh, there's the, more. The Chihu Chihuly, Chihuly Garden, which has a bunch of cool glass sculptures that our friend told us to hit up. So I don't know what else we're going to do, but that seems like a lot already. <laughs> yeah, it does. Let's get to it. We're usually awful at making plans, so that was a huge accomplishment. I need a little pat on the back for us. Well, for you, because you made the plan. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> we're manifesting a parking spot again. Fingers crossed. It's gonna happen. It's pretty packed here. It's bizarrely packed, but it is Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Yeah. So we did this to ourselves. <laughs> this is van life in the city. Trying to squeeze Bev into a parking spot in one of these lots is not easy, but this is actually one of the benefits of a 136 inch wheelbase. We have the shortest ProMaster is we actually fit kind of like a truck. So we can make this happen, whereas a lot of vans couldn't. For some reason, we are struggling to find the gun wall. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I don't know why you're acting so <laughs> We found it, but we're not down there. But I won't lie, it looks kind of gross from up here. <laughs> Jazz is endlessly watching Honeybee on the Simply Safe cam. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see <laughs> We're just parked not in like a very, great spot so I'm kind of worried. Yeah. So there's roasted corn right here and I'm so tempted to get it because when, when we were in Bali I got the corn like every day. It but was, it was like 10 cents yeah, over there. there we might be dollars, exaggerating. I think it was like 50 way, cents. Yeah, yeah. We maybe I'll get it on the way back but I'm really kind of excited. <laughs> okay and behind me is the original Starbucks. Did you know it was in Seattle? Because I didn't. Is that, is that basic knowledge? Not until we got here. <laughs> Cool. Not really what I imagined, but... We need to go inside. I think there's a long line. So I kind of feel silly being here now that we walked here, because I'm like, why did we want to come to the first Starbucks ever? We don't even get Starbucks. We don't really, we're not big coffee drinkers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we get here and we're like, oh, okay. okay and we're like, maybe we should get a coffee, but the line is yeah. like, what, 50 people long? Yeah. So anyways, yeah. Tur tourism is funny. <laughs> we were... Come to find out. Show them our parking spot. So our van is <laughs> there. And then here's the wall. Is here. Right across the street. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason we are struggling to find the gun wall. <laughs> are we, you surprised? We walked around the entire public market. <laughs> yeah. When it was right across the street. <laughs> Coming up on Gum Alley. You gonna stick your body against it? <laughs> okay, it's the end of the day and it's been a great day. It has. And so we went to, first we were at Discovery Park, then we went to the public market. Um, that was cool. It was just like kind of crowded, a lot of people. We're still recovering from like COVID. Yeah. It was just, it just like felt a little odd. Isolation. Right. right. Um, we saw the first Starbucks, original Starbucks. Um, we saw the gum wall, but and then we drove through a Capitol Hill, which was, it was really cool. I wish we, I could wish have, we would have spent more time Yeah, there. I wish we could have explored that more. And tomorrow we're going to Olympic National Park. Don't have a plan yet, but. We'll figure it out. Yeah. All right, good night, friends. Here's what we get for being a little late to the game. Late in traffic. All right, and we're in the park. Woohoo! Ten minutes later. No, Ten. longer than that. <laughs> that was probably like 45 minutes. <laughs> Oops. All right, 45 minutes later, and we're in the park. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Ridge and about to do the 
Hurricane Trail, right? Hurricane Hill Trail. Hurricane Hill Trail. But it's beautiful here so far. So we're gonna have like panoramic mountain views on this hike. Yeah, panoramic views. Here we come. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This place is on freaking. <laughs> it's there, beautiful. There are views all directions. Yes. <laughs> this is our first hike here, and we're already like, ooh, this one's <laughs> really start today surprise surprise <laughs> realizing that we're a little slow moving we're I mean, realizing that or <laughs> we're, we've known that for a while <laughs> we're, we're accepting it yeah <laughs> Bugs. <laughs> Super funny. Following us. <laughs> hey, we're getting eaten alive. We got some on bug spray. Rookie mistake. We gotta get out of this saving. <laughs> to do Marimore Falls. Yes. I think I said that right. Um, looks like it's a beautiful waterfall up here. Yeah, it's Shouldn't about take a, too long, yeah, but it's about a mile and a half. We but... might eat those words. <laughs> yeah. I won't lie, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> here we go. had a disaster. Oh <laughs> what were you using? The AeroPress? I was using the AeroPress and I don't know what happened but it like pressurized or something. And now it's and everywhere. The, look at this. Look at the wall. Like, oh, look, look at the ground. <laughs> like what in the world? I'm still confused at what happened. <laughs> Our faces we both go <gasps> <laughs> well, it exploded <laughs> everywhere. Oh my god. <sighs> All right, we're finally, oh shit, we're finally on the move after the biggest blowout in our van <laughs> of all time. Yeah. Just coffee beans or whatever. Coffee grounds, coffee were grounds everywhere. everywhere. <sighs> but we made it. It cleaned up a little bit easier than I thought, but we're going to be finding coffee grounds all over our van for probably months. <laughs> so we've been up since six. And but we, you had to work for. I did work for a couple hours. But we're just now hitting the trail at like 10. It's like 10 and we forgot 10. bear spray and bug spray, so now we're going back to the van. <laughs> we're struggling. This is a day in the life. <laughs> Life, but gas is definitely one of them. 
And like, Buy is cheaper than rent. True. <laughs> but four bucks. Ouch. So we're about to meet up with some friends and skip golfing. <laughs> Why is it so funny? <laughs> it left a voicemail. She goes, okay, boomer. Who leaves voicemails? I guess me. <laughs> Just, I talked forever. I talked for so long. He was just chatting. I was like... Chatting with myself. Wrap, wrap it up. Anyways, do you leave voicemails these days? Just, I don't know. Or do you prefer text messages? <laughs> Perks of van life. When you're waiting in standstill traffic to get into the whole rainforest, you, you can cook yourself some lunch. And make travel plans. Yeah, and make travel plans <laughs> yeah. and... This is a beautiful trash truck. <laughs> Tell it in a letter, stamp and mail it out. 